morning from Castaway Key. Today is our Castaway Key day. It is. I am dressed in my running attire because I'm going to go do the 5K. They have the medals. I think the last time we were on the cruise a week ago, we, they had the medals. So he's doing it. So I'm doing it. As long <laughs> as they have the medals, I'm doing it. Uh, but first, we got to go get some breakfast. Got to get my carbs, carb mm -hmm. load. Yeah, yeah. Is that what it is? So I can run. But then also, you have something planned that hopefully, fingers crossed, you'll actually be able to do on the island. Right. So, like a fun, ex they, I think they call it an excursion, but you don't really go anywhere. You're just doing right. something, an activity on the island. Well, we can tell them. So, oh, what is it? I'm going to go parasailing. Yeah. Huh? Am I going to carousel here? Oh, the not, it's not a carousel, it's a parasail. Oh, a parasail. But you're, you're not tall enough to do the the parasail, and I can't do it either. Uh, so we're just going to... Why am I tall enough for the parasail? Because you have to be very tall for it. Yeah, it goes really high. It goes 400 feet up. Whoa. I think. 400 to 600 or something like that? So we actually did that one time in the Keys, and it was so amazing. Yeah. So I can't wait to see. I hope we get to do it, and I can't wait to see the island from above. Yeah. It's going to be amazing. But first, please? we're going to I the concierge to lounge to get some coffee, then we're going to Marceline Market to eat breakfast. All right. It's been chaos, but we've got some food. They ran out of small ramekins for the syrup, so we have like a bowl full of syrup. A soup, a syrup soup. We got some pancakes, some waffles. He already ate some of his fruit. Oh, because you were walking a little bit sideways, so we got some egg from my Eggs Benedict <laughs> on the apple. Then we got some omelets. This is an egg and cheese omelet for Jackson. Well, this is also an egg and cheese omelet for Jackson. I didn't know that you ordered one, so I ordered one too. I'll eat it. Yeah. Um, and then this is my meat omelet. Also, there's like a smell of mildew over here. No. Yeah. I don't smell it though. I smell it. Hmm. It's like stagnant up in the front because we're all the way in the front of the seating area. Well, we're in the back. No, the front. The like, ship's that way. Mm. Gotcha, but we're like in the very last room, first room. Yeah. But we're far, like the farthest away from I think from you're the making buffet. it more confusing. No, we're like the farthest away from the buffet. Yeah. Yeah. So Jackson is officially obsessed with the obstacle course. So he wanted to check and see if it was happening right now, which it's not. But he wants to see. Doesn't look like it's happening right now, bud. Oh, we're going to go on the island. Can I do okay. Can I do Let's see how good you are at, at throwing the ball. No, like it doesn't matter how high I lift you up, buddy. You still can't get it in there. All right, let's see. Oh, yeah. Castaway Key looking real nice. Not too windy. I think we might actually be able to go parasailing today. That is very exciting. Wait, can I come all the way out to this spot snorkeling? No, this is something else. Maybe I can do it on like the those little like tricycle things. I'll have to try that next time. I don't know what this thing is, but it looks intense. We're headed back up to the room. There is an H, that's a helicopter pad to get ready to go on the island. It looks like there's the start of a water spout out there. So it's a little bit later than I'd like for it to be. It's about 10, 15, but I'm headed down to the island because I'm gonna run the 5K. Then I have parasailing later, but I'm gonna have this. This is my cell phone. I'm gonna have this with me down on the island running rather than bringing like the big camera or the GoPro or something like that. So I'm interested to see how it goes. It's gonna be hot though, for sure. Ooh, some people are out there parasailing. That's gonna be me later. So long as this rain holds off. Dang, look at that rain coming in. Well, it might actually come through and be done by the time that I'm parasailing, because I'm parasailing at 1.30. So I have plenty of time. So I think that this is kind of a really good warm up for the 5K too, is like the start line is pretty far away that we have to walk to. Actually, I'm gonna find out. I'm gonna turn my watch on right now and see how far away from the ship the start line is. Good news, it just started raining. That should cool us off a little bit. Jack Sparrow's out here meeting and greeting guests. Uh, we've made it to Marge's Barges, which is where you would come for, which is where I'll come for my parasailing later. That's where you come for different uh, excursions. So the Marge's Barges is really close to the ship. So if you are doing an excursion, you don't have very far to go. Pluto and Goofy took a break from meeting and greeting people for a second because it was raining and they were hanging out underneath their umbrella. Now they've come out to say hello to some folks. They're gonna make it onto Pluto's head. Let's see. Goofy needs to get out of the way. Ooh, right on the noggin, or right on the nose. Goofy seems unimpressed. And Minnie's out here meeting and greeting. It rained for like a second, then it stopped, but I feel like more is coming. This is my first time seeing this shirt. It's a Partysaurus Rex shirt. I wonder if they have a 
extra small or an extra extra small somewhere. We'll have to look around because I think Jackson would like that because it's Slidosaurus Rex is his favorite slide on this ship and Castaway Key. Definitely a lot of available chairs still. Well, it looks like a lot of them are taken, but still seems like you could find a few here and there underneath a, an umbrella. Well, I had to stop off over here no, next to Cookies too because it looks like they have some hurricane damage from Ian because it did blow through right over top of this island, right over top of Gumbo Limbo. We're missing lots of roofing, unless they're just in the middle of replacing it, which I kind of doubt because half of it's still on there over here. Interesting bit of, I wonder how it's gonna look because this is specifically aged on this side. That's the only damage that I've seen so far though. All right, here we are at the start of the 5K. About three quarters of a mile walk, took me about 17 minutes. And then I'm gonna, I'm just gonna start running now. I'm gonna go to the bathroom first, and then we're gonna start to run. So this is at the second tram stop though. So you could just come right here on the tram and start the 5K without actually walking. And it's right outside of By the Seashore is what this one's called. So this is the second gift shop and right across from Summertime Freeze featuring Olaf. All right, here we go. We're gonna be off here in just one second. All right, we're already starting to follow a path here. Just to follow the arrows. There's no signage, but I'm pretty sure I gotta go down this way. So I made a right off the runway, even though there was an arrow that said 5K to the left. But I think this is right. Not 100% sure though, we'll find out. Maybe I'm running too far. Okay, I feel pretty good because now there's an arrow telling me to go this way. We did it. We're going the right way. All right, so just passed by this tower back here, which also had my first water station at it at about three quarters of a mile. So that was a nice little break. Took some water in, we're doing good. We're like around 11 minutes in maybe. No, I'm at a pace of 11 minutes. I don't know how long we've been running. I just checked. We've been running for nine minutes. So we're at about nine tenths of a mile. So I think we'll be at a mile in 10 minutes. Good times. Oh, I guess I just missed the first water station here. Well, we're getting onto the runway. I might stop and get some more. There's a plane here. All right, now we are out on the runway and this runway leads over to Serenity Bay, the adult beach. Mile and a half into it, without the end of the runway. 5K says turn around, this is Serenity Bay. Now we're headed back. So now the thing is we're gonna run down the runway again and make it back to the bike path that leads down to the observation tower. And that's where we have to do it because a lot of people will skip that second time around that observation tower loop and it won't be a full 5K. So they'll still give you a medal, but if you're interested in doing the whole thing, make sure you do that loop by the observation tower twice. I will also say coming back down the runway, the wind is at your face. So the second half of the race, the second half of the run, a little bit harder than the first half. Ooh, all right, we're good. We're halfway done though. My sunglasses kept sliding down because I'm so sweaty. It's starting to rain again. We're back, headed towards the observation tower. We're doing good. About two miles in, almost done. Oh, we're coming up to the end. We're doing it. I'm gonna slow down for a little bit. I've been running for 32 and a half minutes. We're at 3.05 miles. We're gonna catch, touch the 5K sign right now. We did it, all right. Let's get a medal. Still a lot of chairs over here, just across from the Bohemian retail places. Lots and lots of open chairs with lots and lots of shade too because of the palm trees and the hammocks. All right, I feel pretty good. We did it. We ran the Castaway Key 5K. Second medal I've gotten on this cruise. First one was for the Disney Toons trivia. Second one for running a 5K. I feel pretty good about it. Uh, I'm glad that I did it. I don't know that I'll do it again. I'm not like jonesing to do it again but I am glad that I did it. So let's go swimming. Got a little bit of time. Do a little bit of swimming, get some lunch, go parasailing. I don't know if you guys will be able to hear this, but I can hear the movie they're watching on Funnel Vision back on the ship. By the way, we're right next to the Stingray Adventure right here. That's what these people are doing. They're snorkeling with stingrays. And then we've got paddle boats over here. There's stand-up paddle boards, there's kayaks. It's like these big tricycle looking things over here. And they have these banana things that they can, they can tow behind jet skis or boats. Well, we'll have to do this stuff the next time that we come. I don't know, if it's only 30 minutes, maybe after I go parasailing, I'll see if I can rent one of these guys right here. Paddle out to the ship. But then again, who knows if we actually will go parasailing because of this storm over here. All right, so we just got off the ship and we're going on the island. And I don't know if you can see, it's a little foggy, but Goofy and Pluto are back there. Hey bud, who are we gonna go meet? Who are we gonna see, buddy? Mickey! Who is that? 
Mickey! Mickey in the house. Can you give me Mickey? Oh, great. High wow, five. Bud. Can we do a, a quick picture? Muscle? Oh yeah, show them your muscles. Show them your muscles, Mickey. Let me see. Let me see yours. Oh yeah. <laughs> We're still working on it. Big biceps. All right, let's get a picture before it starts raining, okay? <laughs> All right, I think Jackson said he found his seat. I'm laying down. On you were laying down. You want to come over here? I found one with an umbrella. There's actually a lot. You want to go sit in the hammock? All right, we're going to go try to get in the ocean before the rain comes, okay, bud? I have my headphones in my pocket. I can't come all the way in. You found a shell? Do you have it in your hand? Oh, you've been picking them up with your toes? That's fun and exciting. Look at you. I did it. Wow. Oh, you're floating away. I got another medal. I'm a winner. Are you swimming to me? What's up with your, what's up with your goggles? Your ears are sticking out. What happened, buddy? Somebody barfed in the water? That's why we moved all the way over here, because they barfed like right where we were. Oh, we that attracts away. the fish. I know, so we swam away. They probably had too much ice cream. I don't know, he literally just like barfed. Out of yeah, I know, I heard them talking over by the chairs. Oh, did They're you? like, you threw up? He's he, like, yeah, he it's goes, just he, hot. It was like, he was just swimming, and then he goes, and it was like this huge, it was a lot of barf. Oh. And I was like, oh, gotta go, get out of here. <laughs> you gotta get away from the barf. <laughs> and then all the fish swarmed. Oh, careful, careful. Careful, Daddy. Careful, Daddy. That's okay, his weight is gonna hold him in. Look at that. But that's how you know that it's like not a super busy day on the island. You're all done? Because there's a hammock to be used. Can you see it? It's a little hermit crab we found on the beach. He's walking through all my hair. So earlier, Jackson was asking me what animals live in shells. And look, we're, we're seeing one right now. Hermit crabs live in shells. Is that cool? I did see. Because they have little pinchers. They're crabs. Why are they climbing over you? <laughs> Is that neat? That is so cool, buddy. Should we put him back in the sand? Yeah. All right. There he goes. All right, bye, Mr. Crab. You always got to be looking out for stuff like that. You never know what you're going to see. All right, now we are headed to lunch. Probably about the same as the last time that we were here. Hamburgers, hot dogs, that sort of stuff. But we will show you guys what we've gotten. If there's something new, we'll let you know as well. Here's something that I feel like I've never really showed is that they just have fresh sliced fruit. Like an entire section fresh like fruit. Look at them, they're cutting up an entire watermelon right there. I feel like I just ate breakfast, so I'm a little bit on the lighter side. I just got a hamburger, I got some potato salad, I got some cookies, and I got some barbecue chips. And for Jackson, I got some potato salad, some chips, a pineapple thing, a hot dog, and fruit. They'll probably just eat the hot dog and fruit. Okay, I'm all done with lunch. I'm separating from Jen and Jackson so that I can go try to do parasailing. It seems kind of calm and nice right now, so I don't see why I couldn't do parasailing. I haven't like confirmed with anybody because it is a, it's not a Disney branded excursion. It is another company that is doing the parasailing. So I don't know if I can actually bring the GoPro up there or not. We'll find out when we get there. I'm hoping that I can. I've never seen any videos or anything of anybody doing that. We'll find out. So it is after lunch and uh, about one o'clock. My parasailing's at 1.30. I'm gonna walk down to Marge's Barges, see what the status is. Uh, there's a bit of a rainstorm over top of the ship right now. Not over top of the ship, like beyond the ship. So who knows if we'll actually be able to get out on it. As we are making our way back towards the wish, you can see definitely a rainstorm over there. Maybe it's far enough away that we'll still be able to go out. Maybe they'll take us that away and we don't have to worry about it, but who knows? <laughs> like. It's all an adventure. So I asked when I checked in and I said, can I bring the GoPro? And they said, yeah. So right now it's still happening and I can bring the GoPro up with me while we're parasailing. So I should get a nice bird's eye view of the island. Hopefully be able to see everything. I think I'm gonna look again, but I think it was, all right, I just looked 600 to 800 feet above the ocean. So that should give us a view of the entire island. I wonder how tall the ship is though. Cause if I'm just going up that high to look down, a good question right, so far so good we're headed down to the boat now i don't know which boat we're gonna get on they like called out a few people that were like ahead of us there's like some specific room numbers and they're just like everybody else
we uh, drove out to the end, like to the bow of the ship, turned around and came back because it started raining. So can't go up in the parasol when it's raining. They're gonna give it about 10 minutes, but I don't think like this is all just rain right here. So I don't think we're getting back on the parasailing today. So I don't think we're gonna do that. Uh, as soon as they give me the, we're not doing it, I'm gonna go see if like maybe the tricycle rentals are happening. I don't know, I just saw somebody go out in one of those banana boats. There's still some people out in a paddle boat out there. So you never know, we might get to do something. All right, so it did start raining again. So everybody's starting to leave the beach. We came back to our little chair and, and umbrella area and we have our towels on. Jackson, we saw all these people with towels on their heads, like show them how they put their towels over their heads for the rain. They were trying to cover themselves so that like this, like so that they didn't get rained on. And he said, look, everybody's a ghostie for Halloween. He thought everybody was being a ghostie for Halloween. They were just trying to keep their hair dry. But, right, bud? Yeah. <laughs> so we are gonna head, I can't tell if I have a glasses. Let me show, let me show them that, look, he said, I'm a ghost. Do your ghost dance. <laughs> I think we're gonna head back to the ship. Does everybody see me a ghost? They saw you be a little ghosty on the beach. So we're gonna head back to the ship. Yeah, I can. Okay, buddy. So I just wanted to mention that this bag that they give you is um, waterproof because Tim left it out on that chair that was not under this umbrella and nothing inside is wet, which is amazing. Pretty cool, huh? Mm -hmm. All right, you want to head back to the ship? Yeah. All right, let's do it. All right, and we are finally back to the room. It's much more warm and dry in here, which is fantastic. Well, the rain's just coming down now. I don't think we're getting back out on these parasailing boats. Just realized something, the sail away party that usually happens on the first night is supposed to happen tonight as we sail away from Castaway Key. And if it's raining, they can't do it because it's like a, a, a deck show. They're out on the deck and if it's raining, they just can't do it. So that's not for a while. That's not for another two hours. Hopefully we get to get at least a sail away party. I don't know. It's been an interesting cruise for sure. All right, so they officially canceled the parasailing. I'm walking over to, to the other beach to see if there's anything that's still going on. I don't think there is. We'll find out. Hey, how's it going? We'll see what's going on around here. People are still kayaking out there, so I might go get a kayak. This will give you a good idea of how rainy it is right now on the island. Pretty wet. Pretty wet indeed, but it does sound amazing. Because my parasailing got canceled and I'm 90% sure it's not going to happen again, I rented a chili boat. We'll see how that goes. All right, I've got a chili boat to go out. And they said it's gonna rain again. So this is kind of fun. Like it's just like riding a bike. There's a little propeller down underneath that spins as I turn the pedal. And then I can control which way I'm headed with the handlebars. Huh, how about that? We're getting a little bit blown around out here because of the storm. But I wanted to go all the way out to the end of the ship. We can go like right up to it too, right up to those orange buoys over there. So this was a bit expensive. It was $29 for a half an hour to rent this little this little boat. It's a one person thing. Whereas those big tricycle boats could be like three, I think two or three people. Um, yeah, I don't know, this is nice though. It's fast. Like we're, we're heading out there pretty quick. Let's see if we can really get going. Ooh, we're toasting. We're really moving. Look at us go. We're booking it. Woo! Wonder if we can see any sea life out here. If I go real slow, nice and calm. If it was a like a calm day, you could probably see something underwater out there. Some fish at least. It is beautiful. They're watching uh, the Lion King out there. And it's the scene, if you're aching, yup, 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 for some bacon, yup, yup, yup. It actually worked out rather well. It just stopped raining, like right now, basically. Right before I went out, finished raining. See, this isn't so bad. I could see this being pretty darn hot if the sun was out and like strenuous, but like, because it's cool and this, the like, the sun's behind the clouds. It's not so bad. I come all the way out here to these to this buoy rope. Come right up to the ship pretty much. Some waves coming in here. So this thing's pretty stable too, so I don't have to really worry about these waves. Huh, this is a very unique spot on Castaway that I haven't been to yet. There it is. There's the Disney Wish. 
Yeah, this is fantastic. If you want to come out here and take selfies like this with the Disney Wish or with whatever cruise ship you're on that's visiting Castaway Key, this is the way to do it. So yeah, I can go all the way out here to this rock and then turn. Ooh, I'm getting a little bouncy here. And head this way. There it is. Oh, are people yelling at me? You waving at them? Hello, people of the Disney Wish. Oh yeah, look. Very unique situation, a very unique view of the island. Huh. And when you're up on the ship, you don't realize how big this rock is right here. Wow. So yeah, we're supposed to stay at this, this white buoy is as close to the rocks as we can get. And I guess we can go all the way around the, the Stingray Lagoon. They said you have to stay 20 feet away from the, the Stingray net. So this is the Stingray experience straight ahead of us here where you would come to snorkel with the Stingrays. And they said you just got to stay away from that. But I think we can go all the way to the other side of it. But you can see there's another buoy line over there that uh, blocks this area off because that's where the snorkel trail is. Also, it's kind of shallow out here, which is another interesting thing. Oh, there's rocks underneath us. No, I guess it's still just seaweed and stuff. Huh. This is nice. This is fun. Oh, there's a stingray right there. Look at that. We did it. It's a southern stingray. Let's see if I can turn around and get, get to him again. I know it's kind of hard to tell. But he's in there. That's fun. And I get, I'm guessing that this is why... Oh, there's also a fish down there with him. Why this, this is not a swimming area. But that's a pretty, pretty large stingray. That's bigger than anything I've ever seen in the snorkel area. Oh, he just, well, this is exciting. Now I feel like this is a scavenger hunt for other sea life. Huh. Wow. One of the boats is going back out. I don't know if it's a parasailing boat. Kind of looks like it is. Kind of looks like it was the parasailing boat that I was on. I wonder if I should head back over there and see if if I can go out. Maybe on the next one. I was on this for 15 minutes. Yeah, that's a parasailing boat. Hmm, I'll have to go back over and see what they say. Although this is a neat experience, I was like, man, is, is half an hour gonna be enough? I'm like, maybe like 20 minutes in and I'm like, I oh, it's pretty much done. There's not like a lot happening out here. You know, it's fun. It's like a little, a way to do a little bit of exercise and like fun to look around for stuff in the water. But all that I've seen so far is that one that one stingray. So I am glad that it's not sunny out though. But and this was like a, a good experience. I really enjoyed it, but I don't think that a half an hour, I don't think you're gonna be out here for a half an hour. So unless you had like two of them and you guys were like racing around and stuff like that, but I don't know how close you can get to them each other with them. I don't know, those big bikes with the they're like big tricycle looking bikes. Those look like a lot of fun. You know, like you can fit, and this one has at least two people on it. I don't know if you can fit three on it. Yeah, they all seem to have either two or one people on them. They look like a good time. This one's definitely way faster than those though, and like easier to maneuver. We are all done with the chili boat. I'm gonna head over to the parasailing and see if they have any other boats going out, but I feel like it's gonna rain again. But I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try it, make the best of it. All right, I just stopped by the little Marge's Barges to ask one more time about the parasailing. And they said everything has been canceled for the day, which is okay. Like we'll we'll do parasailing at some point. I think I feel like parasailing and glass bottom boats seem to be the things that I see canceled most often when we come to the island. So oh, it's really starting to rain again. All right, let's get back on the ship and we'll talk a little bit more about this. Well, at least it didn't rain all day today. We had a few a few dry moments. All right, came back from Castaway Key. It's about three thirty right now. Yes, come here. We're gonna do some like some treats. We'll go up to the concierge lounge, see what kind of treats they have in there, and then we're gonna go over to the sweet shop, see what they have in there. Uh, we came back, took a shower because it was cold from being rained on, but look at it outside. Ooh, buddy. Zero percent chance of parasailing today. <laughs> Although there are people were parasailing this morning. Ding darn. This is pretty great. Well, as we were leaving the room to go get some snacks, we came across this magical moments thing. 
and it says, Across the seas and over the years, may you always remember celebrating this magical moment with the cast and crew of Disney Cruise Line, awarded to Jackson for the Grand Hall Fishing Trip. Remember when we talked to Goofy about getting a fishing rod for Christmas? And it was presented by Goofy on November 12, 2022. And there's a picture of Goofy. This is fantastic. Such a neat thing. And we've gotten two of these on two different trips. And I think that if you're just, you know, like interact with the characters, talk with them, you too can get a magical moment. We came down to the concierge lounge to see about some snacks. Yeah, you got, this is a Christmas treat. It's a dipped Oreo. And then what else did you get? Gummies. Some gummy bears, All right? We could get marshmallows and Reese's Pieces and then some cookies. See, Jen got a scone, or we got some scone. Uh, a mango tartlet. Looks like she got a cucumber sandwich. A salmon sandwich. Oh, I need to sit by me. Maybe egg salad over here. Oh. Jackson's going in. Ooh, I didn't realize that. That it's tea time right now. Yeah, that's why they have the tea sandwiches. So they do breakfast, lunch, and tea and mm -hmm. dinner. Mm -hmm. So you can get a hot breakfast, a hot lunch, tea, and then a hot dinner. I wish we hadn't missed the lunch because I wanted to see what the lunch menus were. And then they also have Pellegrino in the fridge as well as little tiny cherry cokes they're like little baby cans yeah. i'll have to show you the did you show them the cooler no yeah. i don't think well, i think i did on the first day spicy? what it is yeah the cherry coke is it spicy water it's spicy, it's spicy like carbonated it's soda so they just made the announcement that the set sail party is happening at 4 15 in the grand hall which is interesting because it's normally it happens out on deck 11 when we're leaving yeah, port canaveral but right now we're leaving castaway key and it got moved due to inclement weather inside. So this is a very unique situation. Not only is it happening at Castaway Key, but it's happening inside. So let's go check it out. So here's something else that's interesting. They moved the deck party from 11 down to the grand stage, like the grand atrium. But at 4.15, Santa was supposed to be in the grand atrium. I'm glad we saw him when we did. It's a good thing we saw Santa when they did because they are, they're, they're giving the set sail party precedence over Santa mm -hmm. on the first very merry time. Hmm. It's been an interesting sailing for sure. All right, so we've got a spot to watch the set sail party, but also the chair is out for Santa and there's a line to meet Santa. So I wonder what they're doing. So Jen is down there with Jackson getting some of his energy out. And we found out that uh, they moved Santa's meet and greet to 445 and they're gonna do the sail away party at 415, which is right now. I'm ready, let's set sail. Very abbreviated version of that show, but it was fun. Here is the question of the cruise is, will the gingerbread house be done by the time that we get off the ship? You can see it's starting to take shape. Wow, look at this. What a magical looking, oh, and it's gonna have lights on it and everything. 
Ooh. Wanted to peek outside real quick. Seems to have stopped raining. There's a little teeny tiny rainbow off in the distance. In the Grand Hall, we were looking, Jackson's playing on the stage with all the other kids, and we noticed that this set of stairs is actually a, a wheelchair lift. So I, I don't know how they do it, but it's interesting. I don't know how it operates, at least. Over here for the meet and greet right now, it's Mrs. Claus and Santa, whereas when we saw them, it was just Santa. Now I'm sad that we didn't meet Santa and Mrs. Claus for our photo. We did meet Mrs. Claus, no, but we were separate. So we decided to come into Joyful Sweets, see what kind of stuff they have for the holidays. We're up on deck 11. It's very humid here. All right, buddy, in this door, somebody is playing Uncharted Adventure and the memory balls inside of Joyful Sweets react to the app. That's fun. Looking at the gelato, it looks like we only have one one specific flavor for the holidays, and that is a pumpkin pie gelato. Everything else seems to be the same. In this display case, we've got a chocolate dipped strawberry gnome for the holidays. Look at this little gnome guy. There was a Christmas Oreo cookie that, oh, he's making some more right now as we speak. Here he comes. He's bringing them over. Christmas Oreo cookie. We've got a Mickey gingerbread Mickey cookie. And then we've got some Merry Marshmallow sticks. Oh, I missed it. There is an apple cobbler gelato that is also part of the holiday. Jen's gonna try the pumpkin pie. You wanna pie. try a bite too, buddy? You good? Yeah. It does. It tastes just like pumpkin pie. Oh, that's good. I wasn't sure. You know how sometimes it's just like that pumpkin spice? Admittedly, the prices on the cruise ship are a bit out, like, extraordinary. This was $5.50. Pretty wild. It is a beautiful sunset out there. So they have this little seating area where you can like sit in here and look out onto the ocean or to the island. Like we're at the island so I can see Castaway. But there were people sitting here just a second ago and the seat is really warm from them. Oh. So it's like a, a juxtaposition of like warm butts, cold ice Warm cream. butts and cold treats. <laughs> also, I just realized Jackson just tried his first gingerbread cookie. I think and he likes this better. He likes the ice cream. Here buddy, have one bite of this side. Tell me what you think. It's spicy. Is that a spicy cookie? No? Okay. See you later, Castaway Key. This is the last time we'll see you. Look at the sunset. It's until it's cool. we're gonna like watch at least it go September or something. Into the ocean. Oh yeah. Okay, buddy. Hold my hand. Yes. We're watching Coco. Okay. Here, let me help you. It's quite a lovely sunset. Kind of done raining. Nobody's out on the deck. Pools are open, but it's still really wet. All right, so now we are headed down to dinner at 1923 for our last dinner. So here's my question. And I'm gonna be honest with you. Are you gonna try something new? No. Okay. I'm gonna get the steak. What I'm gonna do is I'll get the steak and then I'll get something else new. So I might try something new. The last time I, we got the steak and then also the pasta, the pasta wasn't great, the steak was great. Okay. I know, buddy. We need know. to stand up. Jackson learned how to 100% do a forward tumble on this trip, and now he just won't stop. Oh, they have a Christmassy backdrop over here that you can take a photo as if you were a Disney super fan in front of a gigantic fireplace. I like that. Also, we didn't realize it when we were on the island, but there was no Christmas tree on the island. Oh, there's Nemo. And there's Aladdin's lamp that you can take a photo with. We're headed into 1923 on the Roy side this time. Last time we were on the Disney side, and the first time we were on the Roy side. So now, back on the Roy side. All right, I went with something a little bit different on this one. I got the fennel, Bartlett pear, and pat soy salad. It has manchego cheese, walnuts, and sherry dressing. I don't know what tat soy is, but we'll find out. It's uh, closely related to bok choy. Okay. It is an Asian variety of brassica rapa. Oh. It looks like this. Oh, okay. So there you go. And then you got the... This is the Kingswell Duck Confit Pastilla. Dates, apricot, ginger, and red... Ginger, red pepper, saffron, black, raspberry jam. So I'm going to cut it open. So you can see the inside. Oh, wild. 
kind of wish I hadn't seen the inside. Why? It looks way worse. <laughs> no. And Jackson got a hamburger tonight. Right, bud? Where it is. Oh, yeah. yeah. Cheeseburger. It's a mini cheeseburger, they say. You want me to help you hold it? Oh, Good job, buddy. Whoa, just like, like father, dad. like son. <laughs> this salad that I got is really good. It's very crisp and fresh, and like it's refreshing too. So it's like a like a icy, cool blast of refreshing, cool flavor. Of course, I had to get the steak because it is delicious, and I will get this every time. But we also got some options here. We're gonna try the lamb chop, which actually looks really nice, and then Jen got the chicken. So this is the Italian flat parsley and rosemary crusted lack of lamb with dauphin noise potatoes, roasted petite turnip, carrot, and zucchini, and Zinfandel rosemary sauce. So the potatoes kind of look like scallop potatoes almost, like a like if you look at the potato, it's like layers of yeah potato. And then the the lamb looks really good. Yeah, it does. And it has those little like. <laughs> This always to me, the little like pearl onions to me always felt like fancy. And then we also got the Riverside Roasted Green Circle Chicken with Leek Rondos Brussels Sprouts Yukon Potato Fondant, Honey Crisp Apple Chutney, and Cabernet Sauvignon Reduction. What's the fondant? Yukon Potato Fondant. Oh my goodness. Now, I will say this is not the best cut of steak that we've had at this restaurant. It still tastes delicious, still has really good flavor, but it's a little bit more, not chewy, but like a drier texture. And you can see it's also a little bit more done than I had originally. So this I thought was interesting. This is the no sugar added dessert. It's a coconut tapioca pudding with strawberry lime salsa and matcha crumble. So the pudding, the salsa, and the crumble with a little chocolate on top. It's sort of like a jelly in there. But I thought that it just sounded like it's different than any of the other ones that I've tried this trip. And Jackson's having some raspberry sorbet. He's drinking <laughs> it at the moment. And then I got the 1923 Sunday vanilla chocolate syrup, whipped cream, a cherry on top with some brownie pieces. All right, it is the last night of our cruise, so that means that we leave in the morning. It means we have to pack. First, we wanted to do a little bit of shopping. So, uh, I headed to find Jen. She took Jackson out to do some shopping around the ship. And I'm gonna go find them. This is interesting because the pizza place is closed. This place has usually been the place that's open the latest. Last night, they closed it down. So Mickey's main sale is where they are. And I wanted to check out also Forgive Me Nots. See if there's anything in there that was interesting that I hadn't seen. It's a small store, but I haven't been in there this trip. Some interesting stuff in here. Like take for instance, this kid's shirt that says Disney Wish. It's got Rapunzel on it. Jackson has this Aquamouse shirt and he has this Uncharted Adventure shirt. But I like this Wheezy's Freezy shirt too. And then we've got some adult shirts over here too. Avengers Quantum Encounter, that is the show that happens in Worlds of Marvel restaurant. An Aquamouse shirt, Jackson has one too. It's a Disney Wish with Rapunzel on it too. It may contain cruise snacks from the Disney Wish. I decided to get this one. Yes, I think it's pretty cool looking. It says, never stop wishing. And there's a wandering oaken one here too. Big summer blowout. I have this one over here It says, wish you were here. And they've got a few of them from Hyperspace Lounge too. Cool stuff. At 9.30, they're gonna have another season's greetings with Santa. And that was when we met Santa and there's nobody out here waiting for him. 9.30 on the last night seems to be the, the zero wait time. The last thing I need to do on this cruise is go down and see Mickey and Minnie they should be meeting on the stage. I just want to see what outfits they're wearing. So I'm hoping that it's going to be Christmas because there was like a Santa thing right before this. Let's go find out. So wild because like not even maybe like 10, 20 minutes ago, who's was dead out here. Now everything's packed. Lines of people waiting to see people, see Santa or see Mickey and Minnie and people in the bars. Oh man, it's Mickey and Minnie, but they're in their captain's outfits. Cinderella and Prince Charming are up there. And I think Goofy and Pluto are somewhere too. Santa and Mrs. Claus are still out here. And then I think Pluto and Goofy will be over here. Oh, they finally revealed the gingerbread house. Oh, it smells delicious over here. More along the lines of a gingerbread tower.
My goodness. Had a little bit of a mishap up here at the top, it looks like. But it does look nice. There's definitely a lot going on on there. So I will say that my biggest issue with the three night cruise or with the weekend cruise Friday through Monday is that you're lacking a day dedicated to the pirate night. So, because this is a very merry time cruise, we had Christmas characters like the like Mickey and Minnie and everybody in their Christmas outfits for a half a day. And then they switched over into their pirate outfits for the evening time for the fireworks and for the pirate activities. No pirate specific dinner that night, but there was like pirate specific activities and the Kiss Goodnight was a pirate themed and then there were the fireworks and the two different pirate shows up on the deck and we've showed those before so if you'd like to see the different pirate shows we'll put some videos in the description down below for you guys to check out i wish that the characters in their holiday outfits were out for longer and i think that might happen on the monday through friday cruise because there's an extra day in there so i think if you're booking a very merry time cruise Check out the Monday through Friday cruise rather than the Friday through Monday cruise. On the wish at least. Because like I said, I think there's an extra day and I'm hoping, like we, I don't have any experience with this because this is the only Very Merry Time cruise on the wish that we've done. I'm hoping that they give the characters in their holiday outfits a full day. So that you have a chance to see Donald, Daisy, Chip, Dale, Goofy, Pluto, Mickey and Minnie. For us, we just got to actually take pictures with with like the photo pass photographers with goofy and pluto and that was it that was the only that was the only characters that we that we specifically got a chance to take a photo with in their holiday outfits we did get to take selfies and video of and like dance with the characters during the mrs claus story time turned into like a dance party afterwards and then the characters were out in their holiday outfits and we had to like go around and kind of like chase them around and dance with them and like take photos with them that way rather than a specific meet and greet line so that's the only complaint that i have everything else has been super magical and super fun really glad we got to see the gingerbread house the tree lighting was amazing the tree looks fantastic the whole wish all of the decorations look fantastic i had a really good time and i cannot wait to do another very merry time cruise we have one on the fantasy that we've already done and we'll put some links in the description down below for you guys to see that one as well so you guys can see the difference between a very merry time on the fantasy versus one on the wish dinner was delicious the island was super fun a little bit bummed i didn't get to go parasailing but we did get to go out on the little bike type thing we can see a stingray so all in all it was a fantastic day tomorrow is debarkation day not a lot going on tomorrow but we will see you tomorrow and now it's time to pay the price.